So let's talk about prompt optimization. Google Cloud has released a service called Vertex AI Prompt Optimizer to do the prompt engineering for you. So it basically optimizes the system instructions plus the examples for you to get the best results. This is actually based on this research article here. It's what the product is basically implementing is the idea that they came up with here, which was to treat prompt optimization as a mathematical problem. And they managed to show some really positive results here. So both the instructions and the examples are optimized by the algorithm. So let's see how that works in practice. So basically you choose an optimization mode, an evaluation metric and a target model. The optimization mode will basically be either instruction or examples or both. And the metrics are the options that you see here. So summarization quality, question answering correctness, question answering quality, coherence, safety, fluency, and groundedness. And you can also measure computation based metrics, like for example, the number of valid tool calls, if you are evaluating or optimizing the prompt for an agent, and also general text generation metrics like blue and, and rouge. So Vertex AI gives you a sample notebook that you can work with here. I'm using Colab Enterprise, but you can also open it in just Google Colab. And basically here you define the system instructions. So I have a very basic retrieval augmented generation and use case here with context and answer. And then you need to provide examples, which is the ground truth to help the model optimize the prompt. So here I have a bunch of sample questions with the, the right context and the target answers. For best results, you should use 50 to 100 sample prompts, but you can make it work with as few as five sample prompts. So that's what I have here. Note, by the way, that you can use images in the input as well if you put them in cloud storage. So continuing on with the notebook here, you also define the target optimization mode and eval metric. You can also choose multiple evaluation metrics. This would be an advanced config here and some other parameters for the evaluation, or you can leave it all with the default values. I uh, can also choose the target language, whether you have tools or tool calling and, and a bunch of other stuff here. And the next step is to run the optimizer. I have one running here right now. I'll just pause the video and, and wait for the results to be ready. All right, so the results are ready and you can see here all the different prompts that you tried and the corresponding metric. This is a very easy or very simple example. So nothing super exciting here. Uh, this was the best template or the best prompt, which is based on the provided context, carefully analyze the question and provide a concise and accurate answer. If you prefer to work with LangChain or other models other than Google models, then LangChain has released this prompt optimization tool here in the experimental phase. It's not as mature yet, but it, it promises to do basically the same thing here. This is more of a, a CLI type tool. It's available on GitHub and you can install it with pip. Uh, and then basically you run it locally as a command. And what you need to do first is of course, generate some config files to give it as an input. And this integrates with Langsmith as well. So you can pull data set and examples from Langsmith and also see some of the experiment results in, in Langsmith as well. So here you have the usage instructions. Um, now I haven't actually tried this myself, but for this example that they have here in the repo, we can access the Langsmith experiments by accessing the URL they have there in the repo. And you can see here what the results were. So the example is about generating tweets and the evaluation metrics were the length. It had to be under 180 characters and it should not include any hashtags. Um, so th those are basically custom evaluation metrics. And you can see here some of the generations and the corresponding metrics as well. So anyway, there's a lot going on in the world of prompt optimization and prompt management. And this is all part of the discipline of LLM ops, which I will probably make a video in the future about.